Yes, it's breakfast time here for the sheep. Continuing to move to the northwest, north we our northwest, northwest. Well, Ali McBeal, McBeal is in Chicago for us tonight. Ali. Oh, it's big red. I'm so excited. Big red. Oh. Great September evening. Get out to enjoy while we still have trees on the leaves, a blue sky overhead. So that's it. We're on Snow Watch again. Oh, my kids will not be happy if we don't get a good dump. We will. I'm sure we will. There we go. Not as humid today, but overall, <laughs> hi, Bree. <laughs> We're going to get to Niagara Falls at 7.30, Buffalo around 8.30, Hamburger 9 o'clock. We tried to reach out to the man who died in this pursuit. Uh, they were unavailable for comment. Micah, back to you. Back out here live, we will have much more from the tiny community of Rachel, Nevada at 6.30. Reporting live, Joe Martel's 13 Action News. The Democratic campaigns continue. Bernie Sanders made an appearance in Sacramento, California. Here's what he had to say to his supporters. And uh, who's your favorite Marvel Comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto? With great power comes great responsibility. Let's take a look at birthdays and anniversaries in the meantime. Happy 80th birthday to E. Norma Stitz of Quitman. Happy birthday to you, Miss E. Norma. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll start to see some fog develop tomorrow morning as a warm front, warm, warm, warm front starts to look to the north. <laughs> could, could you, I you think I said it? something I shouldn't have said. <laughs> <laughs> JCPS but lo, bus hotline, excuse me, is up. <laughs> that was a bad word combo. Sorry. Bus hotline. <laughs> oh, dear. What are your favorite places to go in Tiger? Look at this guy. He's I'm, just like chilling here. I'm, I'm soaking up Tiger. Oh, Nina, dear, are you okay? <laughs> There's a step right there. Be a little bit of pleasure every single time you eat. So you heard it. Tara Coleman, clinical nutritionist. Mm -hmm. Pleasure yourself with that food. <laughs> that came out wrong. I don't know Give yourself pleasure when you're eating. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Food donations and match smartness. How do these two go hand in hand? Well, we are live at Second Harvest Food Bank. We're gonna let you know how you can take part in all the festivities. That's coming up. Hi, Sharon and Lee. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, so I'm inside Jeff's Catering Banquet and Event Center in Brewer, where in about 10 minutes, a couple hundred people are expected to start showing up for this special breakfast. It's really enticing to come to Buffalo because of In Amherst. I'm good. Oh. Yes, Are you she's, okay? She's very good. She, she's, she's, she's very good. She's, she's feeling fine. That was our uh, Jenna Clary reporting. Hannah's okay. We didn't have tornadoes here until we started putting into traffic circles. Because on the counter, you want to know why? That when people go round and round in circles, it causes disturbance in the atmosphere and causes tornadoes. Our anchor, uh, Adrian Bradshaw, joining us now with a look at what folks are actually seeing on the roadways all across our state, some of the worst hit areas. Adrian? I get tired just walking from studio to studio. The worst is when you get like a chewy, stringy piece Wait, of yeah, when you're fighting it. with the sandwich, like, give me my food. Yeah, and then half that. of it comes out, half yeah. the filling comes out. You get out. the chin spank when it comes out and yeah, that's <laughs> lands on your chin. chin <laughs> <laughs> Detailed look at your next sh uh, chance at some rain. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Chance of some rain. Woke me up. I was like, we feel the same way. Good thing it's poor, right? Yeah. We'll get to the rain in a little bit, Amy. Why don't you take it from here? All right. Thanks, Morgan. But what we can say is that it looks for him in Uxbridge also something where there may be some concern. He had a 12,000 majority here. 12,000. It's now down to 5,000. 5, Some people think it won't happen again. It won't happen again. Thanks it very won't. much, Tim. Lots of people trying to get in on the act there. The roads in Susquehanna County have people effed up, uh, fed up. Sorry, PennDOT held a forum tonight for residents to explain what's next. Fox 56's Victoria Halicard joins us live in Montrose to explain how much longer drivers have to wait. Victoria. <laughs> Let's take a live look through the Steamship Grill Harbor Cam. The Coho is back, arriving from Port Angeles with another buttload, boatload of... <laughs> a buttload of... <laughs> a boatload of tourists ready to enjoy the long weekend. <laughs> now, even though this gym is temporary, it's going to be here for a few years, and right now students say that, that is more than enough for them, because this gym... It's a home run. Students say that this gym is a grand slam. 
But this gym, nothing but net. A hole in one. And it's t-shirt weather today, hot dog. Grab your t-shirts, <laughs> maybe even a bathing suit today. So I know we are only 13 days away from the official fart. So what just came out of my mouth from the official start <laughs> to fall this morning? 13 days away. I really, I'm, I'm, I don't know what came, ignore that. It's just, we're going to chug on through this. Okay. Welcome back. We are continuing our live team coverage of this winter wall up that has blasted us here in central Pennsylvania. Want to get you back outside, check in in Bedford County right now. It's where our Jordan Tracy is. Jordan, a lot of snow today. Uh, is it starting to turn to sleet now where you're at? I've never eaten at a Haas's. Really? Never. <laughs> <laughs> never eaten at a Haas's either. How about the, how about the winter weather? Кристиан Бистрович, я сейчас прямо стану мокрым, потому что поле начинает поливать, поэтому буду говорить максимально быстро. Илья Помазун, я становлюсь еще мокрее и мокрее. Ну, я продолжаю свой... Красота! Ну вот, все равно продолжаю свой эфир. В общем, сложно будет ССК э, усилить как-то игру по ходу этого матча и становлюсь я еще мокрее и мокрее. Но все равно продолжаю говорить. У Ахмата тоже все очень интересно. It is 7.40 on a Thursday morning. Let me take a look at our conditions house. It is a beautiful start this morning and we have a nice summer day on the way. Melissa, please help me. Well, we'll take, take it to the roads this morning. We talked about picking safe Halloween costumes earlier, but now let's focus on how to save money on those costumes. Right now, Tyra Majors is live at Bakersfield Workwear and Costumes with all the tips you need to know. Are <laughs> Tyra, you are looking quite delicious this morning, I have to say. Wow. <laughs> Do I look like a tasty Popeye's chicken sandwich? I am not going to answer wow. any of these I, questions. I kind of want to eat myself, but no. I can't. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know, I like to eat candy corn one color at a time. If you're really getting OCD you're a about it, well, I'm not always a nibbler. I'm kind of a gobbler. <laughs> I eat a lot of candy. <laughs> We're tired. Do you understand how often we get that close? I'm sorry. Oh. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley, live from Hillbilly Days in downtown Pikeville. And literally 20 seconds ago, we're on the air right now, 20 seconds ago, it came a downpour. And uh, we'll do the best we can here. I hope you can still hear me. Let's go to Marianne Fletcher. She has more on day two. All right, Mike. So are we going to have some barbecue weather or? Uh... You're going to have some wet meat out there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you know what? Like, <laughs> <you know, laughs> just okay. the fact that the just wet. <laughs> oh, that's gross. So that's that thing that says hyperlocal <laughs> forecast now. <laughs>